from downtown Scranton, this is Northeast Current. WQPX invites you to join us as we explore public affairs, current events, and arts and culture in Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. Now let's meet today's guests on Northeast Current. Welcome to Northeast Current. I'm your host today, Bernie Mayapolsky. I'm here with my very good friends, Doug Smith and Paige Belitsky, who are co-chairs and run First Night Scranton. Welcome to Northeast Current. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so what First Night is what, this is the how many? 16. 16th First Night, mm -hmm. wow. Mm -hmm. And um, well, I have a connection with First Night. I was involved in the first First Night. Pretty so sure that was, was 16 years ago, yeah. I guess. Mm -hmm. And then one year I was a chair of First Night and Paige was, well, sorry. Project director. Project director. Mm -hmm. She was awesome. That's right. Yeah, you wow, were involved for a number you. of years. Yeah, sure. right from the very sure. first one. Actually, sure. could I tell my quick first night Absolutely. story? Absolutely. Remember John Cosgrove was one of the, yep. sorry, and I was a young, just started my business. And actually, when I just started my business, Doug was one of my first customers. I made t-shirts for the um, okay. Scranton Music Festival. There you right? go. Right? Yeah. So then um, I was uh, on the merchandising committee, and I was young, right. and I was, they were talking about having this party on New Year's Eve in mm -hmm. downtown Scranton, which there was nothing in downtown no. Scranton then. Yeah. And every and I was just going along for the ride, like okay, sounds <laughs> good. And then it was a magical night. It was so nice. great. And then I remember I was next to John, and the fireworks went off, and I think we like hugged, like that was great. And then John was like, I never thought it would have work. <laughs> like, yeah. He admitted he never thought it would work, but since then, it's yeah. been a great a great it event has. for Scranton. Mm -hmm. So what's new this year for first night sixteen? Um, well, this year we're tying in with the uh, the Scranton's anniversary of being incorporated. Oh, right. So that's why our pin says Scranton Past, Present, and Future. Okay. Because we are going to show some acts that we've had from the past. Okay. Um, some new, young, up-and-coming artists, uh, which is our future, of course. Right. And then just enjoying what we have in beautiful downtown now. Yeah, right. From the sick. 16 to now is a big, I couldn't even get something to eat that night, the first night. And you know, we were talking about this um, a few days ago about what the mission was of first night 16 years ago. Yeah. Um, and Scranton was a very different city then. Very much. Uh, we had people who were afraid to come downtown because it wasn't properly lit. Yep. Uh, there were more empty storefronts than there were businesses. Mm -hmm. And as part of the project of first night, we filled those empty windows with life models and paintings and yep. whatever we could to brighten up Dancers. the city. And 16 years later, we're having a hard time finding places. Yeah, if there's no empty places. People are busy. They have people there. They don't want. Because they have businesses. Because yeah. businesses are booming. Right. Um, customers are coming and going. Yeah. And, and let's face it, no one wants to give up a good night of, right. of retail right. uh, for first night. Um, so it's been a challenge, but that's where the mall has been our savior. Oh, right. Did we even say, so we know when, so in case our viewers don't know, first night is on New Year's Eve, right? We should give them the... First night is New Year's Eve, um, and it starts around 3 in the afternoon, okay. and it ends at midnight with fireworks on the square. And it's a uh, uh, alcohol-free, uh -huh. family-friendly alcohol event. Right. Uh, Paige will explain the buttons in a little bit, a little, in a little more detail, okay. but we are wearing the buttons. These yeah. buttons are only $10. They give you access to all the entertainment and all the events that take place for the whole evening. There's no other charges, no other expenses. Right, all right, so for, right, for $10, right. you buy a right. button. And we've expanded the button thing a little bit. Um, general is $10. Okay. Uh, children five and under are free. Oh, good. And senior citizens and veterans, whether they're active or retired, doesn't matter. If they just show an ID, a military ID, and for the seniors, of course, a, a driver's license, it's $5. Oh, you can't really beat that. So, you know, we, it's our way of saying thank you to the vets and also thank you to the people who have, you know, lived and, and spent their hard-earned money in Scranton. Right. People who have a real a gift for the connection, and the you know, people. a family here. So, yeah. So that's how we do it this year. And so, you know, so like we mentioned before, it was in vacant storefronts. Or it's in, so where, it's in, where are the venues this year? It's at the mall at Steamtown? The mall is our anchor. We started that six years ago. Um, it seemed like every year a complaint would come to us that it was so cold, we didn't oh, want to yeah. walk from venue to venue, although we do supply a shuttle bus. Yeah. A lot of people don't realize or they don't want to stand away for the shuttle bus. So we thought, well, let's make the mall the anchor if they'll go along with us. 
and they were right on board. They said yes, and so we try to put as many acts as we can in the mall, okay. and then just a few, maybe one or two blocks off of the mall. So okay. that it's a, a shorter, a shorter footprint. footprint. Got you. Yeah, the newer, the newer, the folks that just took over the mall yes. have been really, we can't I've worked with them. So I can't, they're they're amazing. I can't agree with, with you more. I mean, just they're amazing. myself as a community person, I've yeah. found, right. they're yeah. just like, yep, yeah, what do you want to do? And well, yeah. and we'll that's what we find. You make the initial phone call many months ago, and the, and the response was, yep, yeah, let's, let's have go a meeting. set a meeting. What do we have to do? What do you need? Amazing, right? What do you yeah. need? And they have been so generous. They Absolutely. sell buttons. They give us um, a place to make our headquarters. So we're right there in the action. Okay, um, right. So that really does that help. That does help. It's nice there. I remember when we had the mall, it was always a good you know, yes. headquarters. My mom and dad were selling sweatshirts there. Yes. Mm -hmm. I remember. And buttons and sweatshirts yep. came up for the yep. bottom. And, and then yeah. the other venues that we know for sure will be the Firehouse in Scranton. Oh, right. Street. That's always a good venue. Yep. Uh, we weren't able to get Elm Park this year even though they've oh. been with us right from the yeah, beginning. Yeah, right from the right. beginning. Great. But it's getting harder to get people to volunteer to be oh, there. Oh, that's a big you know? thing. They have the, that's, they that's have the food they had. Yeah. And there's, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, but but we'll, we'll also have the AFA Gallery. And, uh, oh, that's nice. Northern Lights will have a guitar yeah. player there. We have oh, the good. Hilton. A great Greek fellow named Apostoli. He's yeah. Okay. Play. Yeah, don't miss him. He's the great. The Hilton, right. And hopefully the junior ballroom at the, at the, uh, cultural, the center. cultural center. We're just about hopefully to, oh, okay. to work that out. Yeah. yeah. So that so I mean we 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 are all like first night veterans. So we're yes. talking like everybody knows, right? right. So <laughs> so it's like um, so there's those are the venues, mm -hmm. and then there's performances in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, let's tell them what kind of performances. I'll let Dad talk about the performers. Yeah. Well, musically we're going to bring George Wesley back. He hasn't okay. been here in a while, and he's so popular. He's our past. You know, he's he's really. Uh, we're keeping Damien has been with us for many years, and he also was on our committee for a number of years and really helped the us magician. a lot. Damien yes. the magician. Right, yeah. okay. Damien the magician. And he, he'll, he'll be at the mall. And uh, also Crimson Tears, Robbie Walsh and his band. Oh, they right, do yes. a lot, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s. They're really, yep. you know, really, really great. And then uh, some younger guys, Young Burgo, like Carl Young, J-U-N-G, V-E-R-G-O. Okay. Uh, David Connors, Jimmy Connors' son. Is He's fantastic, and is that him? He has a yeah. voice like butter. Yeah, He's fantastic. That's a great, we, a great band. we were saying on the committee that let's send some of our volunteers out and listen to these young bands. Well, this wonderful husband and wife volunteer, uh, Cosmo and Connie, that's their professional. I introduced them yeah. to you. know, I met them in Bucks County. And they <laughs> went because they love music. Right. And they came back and they said, we saw this group and it was so wonderful. And they just won the Fuzz Fest, was that it? Yeah. The yeah, Fuzz, Fuzz Fest. Fest. And they I went, to open. okay, yeah. what's the name? They said Young Burgo. We started to laugh because we booked them three or four years yeah. ago when yeah. no one knew who they They're were. They're really good. Jimmy Connors, his nephew or his grandson, it's, right? Well, it's his son. His son. Oh, it's his son. It's, okay. It's his son and he plays bass. You know? So yeah. good. Yeah. They're really, I so, saw them on yeah. First Friday once. So we're hoping that, you know, the Young Burgo followers will, will come. And, and that's a segment of the population that we always had trouble making happy. We have stuff for the little kids, we have stuff for the senior citizens, we have stuff for just general entertainment, but the young adults or the teenagers, we really struggled in that area. So, and you have two folks that you mm -hmm. got in touch with. Um, right? Some of my musical theater students who are singer-songwriters will be performing. So they'll be doing their own uh, songs and accompanying themselves. So that you know, that's I think a okay. really fun thing. So and the artists are paid, right? Correct. Oh yes. So the artists are paid. Yes. So that's important. You know, they were, you know, you're, we're supporting the arts. And we're supporting the Scranton area artist. We worked very hard, and I don't think we have one person that's not from Northeastern PA. This this year, we sense of the theme, you know, because of the theme, 150th year of Scranton, and plus. You know, we do like to bring in outside people that yes. people normally don't get to see. Right. But we have done that quite a, quite a bit in the past, mm -hmm. always including some local people. But this year, well, because of our theme, we thought we try would to keep really it. keep yeah. it local so try to keep and pay them so they're not local. giving right. Right. All and local. I neglected to mention we have to have a polka band because oh, we do we have mm -hmm. to. So Joe Stanky and the Cadets are going to be all right. There. Good. And, Which is uh, really fun. Our, our good friend Mike Magden, who mm -hmm. owns Magden Music and Oliphant, plays drums with that band, and then Mike helps us with all the sound mm -hmm. systems. And over they're there. more than they're generous. Magden oh. Music has been amazingly right. generous to us. And I forgot to mention the theater that you used to run. Uh, the oh, Leonard. the Leonard. We the have Leonard the Leonard. Theater. That, oh, yeah. right. So okay. that's, yeah. that's going to be fun. It used to be called nice Diva Theater is the name right. of the theater she yeah. used to run. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, and that's probably... That's a great <laughs> venue. It's a yeah. great venue. So we're very excited about that. And we're thinking we're going to probably put the, put the young... Well, I don't um, know that's probably going to be George Wesley, George Wesley and Crimson Tears, mm -hmm. probably. 
Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But people could find out on the website. Yes. Where yes. everything is. Yeah. Um, on the website. The only people that are listed are people that we have their contracts back. You know how that goes. <laughs> and uh, Maybe by the time the viewers see this, we'll have it all ready. Hopefully. <laughs> and um, so check the, the website. Um, it's real simple. It's firstnightscranton.com. Okay, firstnightscranton.com. Yeah, and uh, it'll be updated as, as things happen and change. And okay. The venues will be there. And you mentioned food, and food has always been an issue with First Night. Yes. And now that we've lost Elm Park, Elm we Park. thought, oh, boy, you know what? We have food trucks now in Scranton. Yes, we do have and lots of food trucks. And they are everywhere. And we say, please, food trucks, come. Have a great time. Park where you Good want idea. to park. We don't care. Just make sure that, you know, that people have Yeah, because it's New Year's Eve and some places have reservations That's and you right. can't necessarily and get in. And if you're downtown and you want to go and see an act at 8 and another one at 8.45, yes. you just want to grab something quick and go. Right. And uh, So the food trucks will be right. helpful. And at the mall... Um, who is the, is the food truck open now? The mall? I mean, is what the fork open in the mall yet? No, not yet. I don't oh, think okay. so. But there will be a couple of mall. Uh, the pizza guy is probably open upstairs. Uh, one of them is open upstairs, and then the the pretzel guy. The pretzel on the floor. Oh, right, the pretzel, right. And the coffee shop. Uh, Starbucks. Oh, Starbucks. Starbucks. But Starbucks sure late, closes a little open. early. Yeah. Okay. So, because it's New Year's Eve, and people don't want to work on New Year's Eve, but uh, they were open last year, and they were packed. I so bet. is Northern Light. So there's you have stuff packed. for kids, probably special kids of if people with kids. It's a, you have it's special a, kids events, absolutely. right? Absolutely. You have got, crafts, arts and crafts. We've got face painters. We've got balloon animal people. Um, uh, John O'Connell. Caricature. Right? Oh, caricature. I was going to ask you the caricaturist. Yeah. That's oh, always year. so yes. popular. Just for think year. of ten dollars, you do all that and get a caricature. And you right. can get a carriage ride. We have horse and carriage. Oh, and that's included with your button. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, yep. you can't get a deal Once like that. Once you buy your button. There is nothing else you have to pay for unless you want it. Food get something or something, to eat. right. Or a souvenir. Exactly. Right. And obviously, the only way we're able to do that with such a small amount of money is from the corporate sponsors. Mm -hmm. uh, PNC Bank has been with us from the start. Okay, yep. great. And uh, also, of course, the city of Scranton itself, mm -hmm. they, help, they help a lot. And, and, and grant money. Right. And Lackawanna County helps us, yep. the county commissioners, and some, some money from the Pennsylvania Council of the Arts. And uh, also from um, the Pocono Arts Council. Right. Oh, that's right. nice. Right. Yeah. So like, don't just show up and I mean, I should say, don't uh, crash the party without buying a button. Right. Okay. And or like or we, share a button. Right. Come on. It's only yeah. ten dollars. Ten dollars, and that ten dollars pays all the artists and all the um, bills that are incurred to put on first night. You know, the shuttle costs money. Right. And, and it's a volunteer committee. That's a funny thing. Yeah. People don't always realize, oh, yeah. the city should do this. The city doesn't do it. It's yeah. all, you Basically, know. Basically, right. It's all volunteers that do it. all volunteers like you, you know, they, give they, their they time. And it's, it, it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of months, as you know. Yeah, I've done it. It's a whole together. year thing. It's, yeah. a, it's a whole yeah. year project. And, and as we mentioned, you know, we do have the sponsors and grants that we have, but it's not too late if there's, are there, if there's any corporate people that do want to come on right. board. Sure. Especially with our fireworks. We have fireworks booked, but we need a little yeah. more money to help with mm -hmm. the fireworks. Fireworks went up. That will certainly. They do go we up. We still yeah. have time uh -huh. to get your name on the <laughs> programs and, and on the okay. website. Right. Anything, if anybody yeah. wants to help. And they um, and you all because you could you could also use volunteers. Oh, volunteers. Kids we always need, need, their, need right? kids with, who need kids service who need hours. service hours. Absolutely. It's a great night to volunteer. Sure. Um, so how should they get in touch with you? I mean, people who don't drink. It seems like a not great for people who don't drink because it's a non-alcoholic. Yes. yes, and it's a, it's a nice, friendly uh, yeah. family atmosphere. Yeah. And, um, we also have had. Um, and, and people responding to seeing so many police on the street. And it's nice to, to walk in downtown square. Yeah, it's lit, it's, it's safe, it's there's lit, music, it's there's safe, noise, there's music. it's great. Yeah. People are happy, it's a fun evening. Even when it snows, it's still sure, fun. Sure. The music and you do mm -hmm. the fireworks. Everybody, mm -hmm. even who's not at first night, mm -hmm. comes out for the fireworks. Yep. Right. And so, you know, if they want to send, uh, if the kids who want to volunteer can send an email to uh, First Night Scranton at Gmail. Okay, firstnightscranton at gmail.com, and yep. we'll put that on the screen. And, um, and a phone number. Um, they, uh, Is there a phone number? Or? Um, We're all they digital might here. Be better off with, yeah, with the The email guys are busy. Uh, you know, I was thinking it makes a good Christmas gift if you're watching this on Christmas, on Christmas Eve. That's right. right. Go to, where do you, oh, you can pre buy them, right? Yes. So you can absolutely. buy them where? Uh, all Garrity supermarkets, They're all great. nine I love locations. Garrity's. Shout out to Joe Fasula. Oh, Joe's been, <laughs> Joe has been on board for many years, and he's, he's great. a great guy. He's a great community uh, guy. Boscovs, um, the, the mall at Steamtown, all the library locations in uh, Scranton, uh, Albright Memorial, the Children's Library, uh, Kay Holmes in Green Ridge, 
and Library Express here at the mall. So, okay. yeah. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a great last minute Christmas stocking stuffer. Sure. Right? And it's a gift have, of you know, entertainment. Sure, and if you've got little kids and, you know, come for a couple of hours. I've always, the little kids always liked it. Yeah. I mean, I have millions of stories. It would take me another 20 minutes of our like, mm. funny first night stories. It's cheaper the kids. than taking your kids to the movies. <laughs> no it really kidding. It is. And aside from all the other events at the mall that we mentioned, uh, the children's events, uh, there's a chance we might be able to have your game at the mall. Oh, library, yeah. We'll know, do a little just, Scranton Trivia Quest night. Let's do that. that. Yes. That'll so be fun. So get your teams ready because yeah. that's what we need. Get we need teams. some teams. See if you could challenge the uh, trivia masters. We'll put it on our Facebook page. Okay. Yeah, to bingo. form teams. Bingo. And there's going to be bingo. Bingo. The right. bingo is run by Allison Vogel. You She's know been well doing that forever, yeah. Since yep. day one. She's amazing. Uh, we used to call it senior bingo, but now it's called family bingo okay. because everybody wants sure, to Sure, who doesn't like bingo? It's in the food court at the mall. It starts at 3 o'clock. And they play until they run out of prizes. So we we'll do bingo, then we'll do trivia. And then we'll do trivia. So right. right after bingo, we'll be trivia. We'll get a team. We'll get an MC. Absolutely. We'll have a good time with that. It'll be wonderful. And we'd also like to acknowledge the other members of our core uh, yes. committee that mm -hmm. weren't able to be here. We can't have everybody do all the. Di but uh, Julie Emmel, who you know, she's been, oh, of course, she's been helping us a lot. She does all She was the one running it when I was there. Yeah. Right. And uh, yeah. Sandy Upshinsky, who works oh, with the yeah. county now. Who writes and the then, grants? And Cosmo and Connie, who are. Who That's such a funny story. Be performing. Yep. I, I met know. them at a bank promotion that is in Bucks so County. Wonderful. And she, I said, they want to get involved in Scranton. I said, They're call you. Wonderful, wonderful yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. So, yeah, we have a, uh, and of course, the mayor is the honorary chair. I want to make All sure right. I get that in there. And uh, he was honorary chair first time last year because he was the new mayor. And he brought his son, his grandson, excuse me, to uh, first night. And he stayed and he did the countdown for oh, us. Yeah, and I pulled a lever. It was wonderful. Yeah, it's a great so night. So he's already he's already called. We've got him booked. He's yeah, all set. Yeah, don't miss it. I mean, you really have to come up it for first fun. night. If you're any, if you're anywhere near in Northeast PA, first night's grand. Because we're the only one in the area now. <laughs> but we appreciate your help and your station's help. Thank oh, you. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for having for being here. Yeah. Thanks for doing the hard work. So again, I'd like to thank Paige and Doug for coming today. Thank you. And um, remember to look on the website, firstnightscranton.com. It's New Year's Eve in downtown Scranton. And we'll be right back after these messages. It is going to be a pain in the butt. <laughs> Is that a bad word? No, I think it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Border one. I don't even know what it means. It sounds cool. Your dog would be proud. <laughs> yeah. made it up. Now oh, I have lot. to worry whether oh. you're going to get locked in everywhere we so go. That's another thing. Am my hair combed? Because my phone is on. Uh, you know, I feel actually He's a good gonna thing. He's got to take that scotch bottle out of his head. I learned something. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-